and welcome to episode number 26 of my Let's Play of Final Fantasy IV on the PC. In the last episode, we made a start on the Tower of Babel, and... Actually, I'm just going to check. Can I see from here or not? No, I can't. Although, actually, while I'm in the inventory, I'm going to use a quick tent. But as I was saying, yeah, what we were doing last time was just starting the climb. Um, now, I'm... Basically, aware this could end up being a little bit of a, well, samey. So I'm going to try and think of a way out around um, how to edit this because I think we're on floor about tw tw 11, 10 maybe, 10, 10. Um, and what I've got to do is just go oh, get out of here. So for another 10 floors to climb, I assume. Uh, three took about 20 minutes, 25 minutes real time. Um, yeah, so yeah, the plan was to try and just get, um, get through it. So yeah, the, the, essentially, because I have to, like, um, I'm trying to do these live, that when I do a battle and I know when I cut it out, I end up having to lose my train of thought. Um, all I want to do is get up here as fast as possible. Um, so things like this, where I assume it's going to be an item in an ambush. There we go. Is like I'm gonna keep these on because these are semi plot based or whatever. Um, very least, like the. Um, I suppose they're not really scripted per se, but they are, like, you can't avoid them. And they are what they are. Um, but the ones where he's running around, I'm gonna try and cut out. I'm trying to think of a good way of making these. Ah, uh, oh, damn you, gods. Um, a good way of making this all flow together a bit, though, but we'll see, we'll see. At least that gives me a new shield. Let's see what that looks like. Um, so, a little bit better. Let's just see. That might be better now. I can give him the flame shield. Yeah, shall we just run through and just do the opposite? Hmm, interesting. So, here, oh, fire arrows are apparently better for him. Well, we'll see. I still haven't bothered with the ice arrows, then I'll switch back. Now where did these two go to again? Um, let's have a look up here. I don't think we ended up looking in here, did we? No. So, here's another item, and that is a ice armor with some more ambushing. Which I assume is going to be very similar again. Yeah, just... Uh. Yeah, so my concern with this is there's not a lot of plot, it's just following you around. And stuff. There's not a lot to say about that. Um, I suppose I could just shut up and do it. <laughs> that would work. Um, it just feels like it's not my style. Then again, do I really have a style? In the truest sense of the word? Nah. Yeah, you run away. I'll do it. Kane's leveled up to 40. Nice. Is that any good for anyone? I'm actually going to switch. I'm going to get give that to Kane. Um, so I'm guessing we basically have a full-on ice suit coming out of here. So is there another... another... No, nope, that's just empty. Okay. Wasting my time. But yeah, um, so we're going to get up and out the top here. So... Yeah, I mean, um... Now, I was about to say that things are generally getting a bit easier, but then it just goes out of almost spite. The game seems to have just made up. Well, I just got absolutely destroyed by some, um... What are they called? The Flame Hounds. I think that might have happened once in the last episode, or close to it once in the last episode as well. But they have a Scorch attack, which is just evil. But thankfully spreading out that, um, the flame, is no, where's it at? The ice gear, sorry. It halves the fire, that's actually kind of helped, because these now both have halved fire. I'm actually seeing there's any other... I haven't got anything else which will do that, I think. These have similar gear, so no. That would be, be really helpful. That's the only attack in here which is of any real consequence. 
Oxbow. Never mind. Right, floor nine. Hold your area, Oxbow. So, just follow the wall down, I guess. Just... Oh, and a couple of new enemies. So, with you, steel golems. Right, um, or golems. Like... I'm not sure which one to say. Um, let's try someone in a chopper with them. See how they deal with that. I'm guessing they're going to be quite tough, but not ridiculous. That always catches me off guard. I always think something weird's happening. It comes up to the animation before the message comes in. But anyway. Yeah, that was a bit underwhelming. Um, well, these have a lot of HP, actually. Uh, well, another thing I need to do is try and get the girls some more HP, generally speaking. Um, but I don't know if there's a way of just getting more HP. I should probably... I keep... Go back and forwards on this. I think I might put Rydia back on the back row because she struggles with the physical defense um, more so than Kane. Um, don't know why I said defense there, it's uh, defense as well. But hmm. yeah, we'll do that. So a couple more levels up, slowly creeping up on the HP. But oops, on party, and I'm just gonna swap these two around. While I'm in here, I'll use a little bit of magic and get some cura going. So is that everyone about there? Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, let's just keep going around here. Anything or nothing. Um, probably somewhere in the middle. I should get, then we'll stick to trying to get all the maps cleared. Oh, some more new enemies. I was mention of the kind of the skull, well, skeletons um, attacking earlier, I think. Oh, I'm getting my, no, I'm getting my games mixed up, sorry. Um, I'm too nice. Um, oh dear. We keep so many things in my head at once. Um, so, we'll just try and take these down with fairly standard attacks, I guess. Ooh, weakness to fire for the skeletons, that's handy, you know. I'm sure we'll keep on top of that. Yeah, don't. Still gonna fire her. Worked quite nicely before. So both of them two are going to die. Oh no, not both of them. Okay. There we go. So for quick. Ah. Oh, thought it was going to be able to get those are to get a kill and blow on that one. That should be quite. Well, yeah, quite deadly. At least they behave like single attack. Even if you've done multiple and two of them die. But yeah, that's, that's not bad. A bit more strength there for Kane. Hopefully a bit more for Yang as well, yeah. Awesome. Uh, a bit more stamina. So, ooh, there's a chest. What have we got? Anything good? High potion. Uh, not especially good. Right, that's that bit. I'm going to cut back. I was hoping I was going to loop all the way around. So let's try the middle. Um, what's up here? Uh, another door. I'm going to just try that bit right back at the start. I should have just gone that way at the start. One thing that's probably worth mentioning, so I said on the way there, is that Vivi is still pretty useful with our whip because it can still paralyze people. Uh, or enemies. So that's actually possibly more useful than the damage it does because it doesn't do a mass amount of damage. It's fairly. Well. I'll see if I can get it to work in this fight. Oh, this is the same configuration we just had. So I just, went, I just decided to go, right, let's go all out with attack. Um, and if she gets a turn in at some point... Come on. So if she does that... And this happens, it just stops. That's quite convenient, I'm pretty sure that's not 100% likely. In fairness, it, that only stopped it for one turn, but... Like, um, if, it, if she gets a turn in a little bit... Ooh, this Arga, nice. If she gets a turn in a little bit um, sharper, then it's probably worth doing. But yeah, right, after Quind, right, I'm, I'm, where's it where I missed the bit of the map? Oh, it's that other door at the top. I'll try this middle one first. I still haven't got my heads, I normally can tell which one's going to be the main one. Um, I should keep talking. And which one's not, because of the, how, the, how they're laid out. But I've noticed in this game it's a little bit more difficult to work out. Um, or intuit, like, which one's going to be the main get-out door. 
kind of a good thing. I guess the new design and the levels are based on the original ones. Um, I half remember some of the magnetic cave from where I got to the first time around. I should probably do all about that and sometimes I don't know what it's for. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a good thing. I'm going to have to go around and check out the door anyway, so if this one goes straight to the next level, I'll just loop around. The other positive thing about the whole auto battle, sorry, auto battle um, random encounters thing is you don't necessarily respawn or not respawn enemies depending on how far around you are or where you go. So again, the game the I'm playing at the moment, these are oh, slots, so I definitely can't go that way. If I was to have gone through there and then double backed on myself and decided that was the wrong door, I would then have to deal with all the enemies again because they would have respawned. Um, ah, there we go, it's a map complete, good. Five remedies, excellent. And this must be the way because can't get through the door. So, huh. interesting. That is actually the only way through. Is this a little bit new? It's probably not auto battle there, but never mind. I think that other armadillo is a bit different, but it's also dead, so that's fine. I don't like stone gaze. Um, I was wanting to see what the enemy name was, but I didn't get a chance there. Never mind. Again, never mind. I will just keep going with this. Hopefully, we'll kill him before Cain becomes fossilised. Yeah, we're starting to get that. We see, it doesn't take much of the damage to start creeping up. Um, I mean, well, obviously, we're working and levelling up quite... Ooh, stone blade. Sorry, this is actually working quite well and getting the levels up. I think these two were at 33 when we ended. Oh, we around that area. What's that look like? It's got a status on it. Um, can anyone else use it? I'm guessing the cane can. Might be worth doing that, just to give him a bit of something different. Uh, it's, so he's not going to be doing quite as much damage. I just didn't want to do that, I want to do that. Ah, so I must have to go back out here. Strange. Okay, um What's going on here? Ah, I thought it was a big area, I was thinking this is a battle. Or something's gonna happen here. Yeah, good case a bit different. Ah, another save point. Excellent. Right. I'm not gonna stop quite here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make use of it. Um most of we're progressing, which is always nice. And I guess I'll use another tent. So we'll have a little nap. Probably don't necessarily need it because I've got me prayer and um, healing generally to keep myself going, but it's what it's for. So let's keep going around here. I'm gonna try, try and not just keep the map up the whole time. It feels like it's kind of there. Ah, okay. Let's go this ditch um turn number four. I'm watching the map rather than looking at the screen, for lack of a better phrase. Um, let's just get the fire going here. Yeah, I get it, you've got lightning magic. Um, I, th I thought I'd show this to make it a bit more interesting, but like... Probably is not going to be, actually, I'm just going to be doing that. Kick to try and take a bit of damage on both of these, and then I think looking at how much it took to kill that other one, Fire and May just about kill this. I'm really? We actually have another kill off in this world. I'm just getting annoyed now. That's just going another one now, isn't it? No. Okay, just go away with it. Thought they were both going to get another turn off. That's still good damage, that 15. Um. Cool looking sword as well, actually. Well, right, strength 48, excellent. So let's try around here. So yeah, you're watching the oh, you're watching the script that you're not watching the game. It's an iron back, right. Um, that's good to know, I guess. Let's kick these ones. Um I feel like fire is gonna work, but I'm not totally sure. Actually, try and get Rosa to get a proper cure on the go. I feel like we might need it. We 
We also might not, because these two attacks are going to kill this. Oh, this one attack. Excellent. Uh, I still will need to heal at some point, but... Yeah. So, straight down here, there's another chest. Dry ether. That's good. Um, I must have to go this way then, I guess. New, so yeah, I, thought, I, I was going to not show that, but it is technically a new fight, so I think I haven't seen that. It's dead now, but I haven't seen one, unless you. Um, this shouldn't take very long anyway, hopefully. Uh, uh, the animation time is going to take longer than me, other than that, I think. Because it's going to be three of these now, isn't it? Damn you, school dears. I pray for you, school dears. And for myself. So, come on. Not quite. Ah. Save the counter. Right, we have to do a plenty of cure at the end of this fight. getting there. How many actual levels is he behind Cecil? Um, no, just the one. She just doesn't quite have the raw strength, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, one more. And a cure. There we go. Right. So, let's see what's in here. Level 6. Oh, we're clashing through. Okay, we've got a boss fight coming. Um, Let's try this now. Um, I mean, I, I say I've got. Yeah. Oh, of course. No need for concern. Eblen's castle has already fallen and it's ninja for. Ooh, ninjas. Okay. Well, we've got a safe point. <laughs> Is this Kafka? No. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, the background behind them. A bit underwhelming there. Uh, that's better. Who's there? Uh-oh. He spied us. We're not that sneaky. I mean, you just saw him walk all the way on the back of the screen there. And across, but... Um, like, while you were talking to your boy there. Um... The outrage! The belittlement! <laughs> ah, Dr. Luge. Um Ah, right. It's Chief Strategist. That sounds bad, actually. Reminds me of Rowan in Tales of Zillia, where it's just, it was all strategy-based. Um, hmm. He's got a... Well... Barnabas, he's gonna say he's like Frankenstein's monster. Um, let's go for the Doctor though, rather than the. Because I think without someone to tell you what to do, the monster will fall. Fall fast. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, he's gonna fall fast, alright. Um, I guess the music isn't totally boss battle I know, but I don't know what to expect here. Uh, At first he seems to be pretty strong. But Rosa will pray for him. Um, we'll try some fire. I'm getting my theory is about take him. There we go. Take him out, this guy should fall. Without a guiding force or whatever. I still I forgot what aim does now. I'm just gonna try it. Bio's normally quite good against these as well. 
I just named a tack. Ah, of course. Oil. Um, okay. Ow. Okay, that was not ideal, but at least we won. Sorry, Kane. Um, hmm. Prepare to see true terror's face. Oh crap. Okay, now we have a real fight. Um, and music and everything, and I'm gonna have to get Kane up. None of this f that's what I thought. The face of fear. Oh god. <laughs> okay, um, hey. Okay, can I, where's Rosa? Oh, crap, this is gonna hurt, I can't lose it. Just catch the verse on everyone. Where's, where's my raise? Uh, um, kick. Okay, I'm just gonna go all out here. Fire speed not gonna work there. Um, Thundara, let's go for that. Oh, God! Um, oh, I know what I need to do. If I can get this attack in quickly. Before he does something, where's it going? No, this is gonna have to work. Oh, so you can still do that? That's fine. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm guessing that, that, that I've got to use curative stuff on him. Just whether or not I can actually get away with this, because I'm pretty much now done for. Um, damn it! Uh, I might have to have another go at this then. You swine. Um, right. Um, I'll meet you back at the second fight. I'll just go back through that again. Right, so I made it through the fight, and I actually managed to get Cecil to survive. Well, Cecil was the target this time, and I managed to get him to survive that attack. So. Let's see. Now, I guess we've got to use curative stuff on him. Um, and I'm just going to work out what the best way of dealing with that is. Because that's just immediately what he does. He goes straight into the fight before the game started. Um, and so, with that in mind, just see if somebody can hit him with, like, a big attack. Um, Come on. See, will that work? Maybe a better way of dealing with it. I haven't used one of these yet, so why not? No. Nope. Uh, okay. Seems a bit overkill to use two of them. Um, but it would probably work. You can't have that much more HP. Um, we we'll stick with high potions for now. Um. Okay, cure. Oh, do I just use another elixir? That would work, I guess. Uh, I might just try it. I'm not going to use it for myself anyway. No, he's dead. No need. Good. Um. Shame the girls didn't say I had to see it, but, yeah. Boss vanquished. That's another game. Um, so, what's the crack? Um, okay. Good. I get it, I say that. It's not good. Um... To the cannons! But first, save! <laughs> this is not a save point though. Damn it! What's wrong with your save point? Um. Uh, okay, right. Um. In that case, I'm still gonna actually sort these. Um. Ah. Getting flustered. So. Raise on them two. Uh, Cura on everyone. Oops. Then a 
everyone again. And then maybe on just Cecil. Um, and then a cure for them two. That should be enough to keep us get us started again. Um, so I can't that's just right, yeah. So what I've got to do is I've got to head back down now, I guess. Um, what I'm gonna do possibly off screen is go back down that save point. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down the save point um, and I'll start up the next episode down there. So I guess we're going to go back down to where we were locked out of and then go and try and sort the dwarves out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save and I'll be back tomorrow with the next episode where we hopefully stop the dwarves from being cannoned to death. So until then, um, take care of yourself, have a good day and goodbye.